Of all the National Trust properties I visited, Cragside has to be my favourite, as I return time and again to enjoy it. Built by Lord Armstrong the Industrialist as a hunting lodge and I think party pad, it was the first ever house to have electricity. Famous for its millions of rhododendrons and azaleas, which are usually at their best in mid to late June, the estate is a maze of walks and picnic areas to suit the needs of all ages. This waterfall once again flows since the once dammed river that created the lake for the water source to drive the hydroelectric turbines was reopened. I don't know their names, but who cares? Let's just enjoy them for what they are. Cragside's many paths and walks guide you through a labyrinth opening a kaleidoscopic vista of colour, each one terminating in a splendour that's hard to believe exists in this part of Cumberland. A lesser version of the lake still exists, to add to the tranquillity of the air that you feel when you step on these soils. Constant estate management is required by the staff of the National Trust to maintain the spectacle for all visitors to enjoy. On the other side of the ravine are the formal gardens, with a clock tower and conservatory. To the east are splendid views along the Coquet Valley. The Fern Grotto, as I call it, is amazing. Appearing from all nooks in the walls, the ferns grow only to die to nothing in the winter and start all over again the following year. This conservatory houses another of Armstrong's innovations, the revolving pots for the peaches, figs and olives which were grown here. This is just a glimpse of Cragside as no photography is allowed in the house. That is something else. I hope you enjoyed it. I know for sure that I'll be back. <laughs>